my name is Adrian Richards and I'm the Surgical Director of Aurora uh, Clinics. Today I'm going to be talking about a topic which I'm often asked in clinic uh, and this is how to uh, measure your uh, cup size. So um, studies have shown that uh, in the UK uh, over 80% of women are wearing uh, bras which are the incorrect cup size uh, for them and interestingly the uh, uh, most common cup size is the 34C uh, but many uh, women would be much more comfortable in a uh, a bra which has got a uh, slightly smaller band width but a higher cup size. So if you are a 34C, uh, um, you know, perhaps 32D uh, or double D might be more comfortable. Okay, so how do we measure uh, the cup size? First thing is you need to measure your chest circumference. And the way to do this is with a soft uh, tape measure, you measure around your chest, very important to have it transverse so it doesn't ride up at the back. You measure your chest width, where the band of your bra would be, okay? Um, and then you get, you get a, a measurement typically sort of 30 to uh, 35 uh, inches, okay? If it's an odd number, you need to add five inches to that number, and if it's an even number, you need to add four inches, okay? So then you're left with your band width. So if you were measured at 31, you'd add 5 centimetres to that, you'd be a 36 uh, band width. And again, if you were 32 inches, you'd add 4, and again, you'd be a 36 um, band width. So we've ass assessed that. The next thing to do is to measure the, the circumference of the most prominent part of your bust. If you're relatively small busted, you can do this uh, with a bra. It's very important to have a, a comfortable, soft-fitting bra that doesn't constrict you too much when you're doing this. If you're slightly bigger busted, um, you can. It, it's often best to do it without a, a bra on. So then you need to take the measurement around. Again, very important to keep it absolutely uh, transverse, not riding up at the back. Um, and then you get a measurement of, of the widest circumference of your bust again in inches. Okay, So what you then need to do is compare the band width to the circumference of your breast in the most prominent area. Okay, If the number is the same, you are an A cup. Okay, If your bust diameter is an inch less than your uh, diameter under here, your band width, you are a double A cup. And it goes up one inch by one inch after that. Okay, so minus one inch, bust one inch smaller than your cup width, which remember you've added four or five inches uh, to, is a double A cup. And the sizes in the UK go up uh, the same as in the United uh, States, slightly different in the rest of Europe, but in the United Kingdom and the United States, we go minus one inch, double A cup. The same same width around the bust and the band width, A cup. Then we go up through a B cup, C cup, D cup, double D cup, E cup, there is no double E. Okay. Then we go to F, double F, G, double G, and upwards like that. And the largest uh, bus size um, in the UK is, is a K and then double K. Okay, so that's how you measure in, uh, in the UK and in America and I would encourage you to perhaps try these measurements at home to see if you can get a slightly better uh, uh, fitting and more comfortable uh, bra. In the rest of Europe it's slightly different and interestingly the way uh, bus size and bra size is measured varies between sort of Spain, France uh, and Italy but it's essentially in centimetres. Um, um, so a much larger number. There are conversion charts on the internet if you would like to look these uh, up and uh, if you are considering buying a bra from uh, Europe I think it would be worthwhile doing this. So I hope that's clarified this issue. If you would like uh, any further advice uh, uh, either about this or any other breast surgery related topic please contact us uh, either by ringing uh, my office on 01844 214362 or alternatively contact us via the Aurora-Clinics website. Thank you very much.